This is a technique that I use all of the time. It's evolved over a number of years. I learned it at Open Sky Wilderness Therapy 12 years ago. Well, I didn't learn it. I learned what they call the four parts check. And so I've revised it since then so that it now encompasses six zones of our experience. So we all have so much more data available to us when we're making decisions as a leader that help us make better choices. One of the things most of us do when we're leading is we tune into the face of the other person. As a psychotherapist, having worked with leaders of all kinds for all these years, CEOs, doctors, I hear them saying, I looked at her face or I heard his tone shift, right? And so we have an inclination as leaders because we're empathic to tune into the experience of the other person or to tune into the circumstance or the situation and let it lead us. But instead, there's this whole wealth of information available to us right here in the six zones of our very own experience that will help us not lead by watching the other person or being um, overwhelmed by the situation. So I'll walk through the whole being scan with you right now and I'll, I'll show everyone what it means. And then we'll go into breakthrough rooms and you'll do this one-on-one -on -one with one another and you'll use an example and I'll explain that in a moment. But first let's go through the whole being scan. We want to become conscious in six zones of our experience. And this can be done in 30 seconds to a minute. The more you practice it, the easier it will become. So follow along with my hand, if you will, on your own bodies and in your own whole being worlds. We're going to tune into our hearts, our bodies, listen to what our bodies are saying. We're going to pay attention to what our minds are doing, what our intuition is telling us, what the energy or the space around us is doing, how it's vibing. And you can go ahead and move your arms with me. I know this is a little weird. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> and last, we're going to tap into our essence, which is the deepest core part of ourselves. Let's do that again, okay? And this time, everybody move your, move your hands and touch your, touch your body with, with me, will you please? If you're comfortable. We're going to tune into what our emotions are saying in our hearts, what's actually happening in our bodies. There's data available to us in our bodies. What's going on in our minds? Are they racing? What's happening in our intuition? What is it telling us? We might not take the information of our intuition, but we want to listen to it. What's going on in the energy space or the environment around us? And lastly, what's happening in the deepest core part of us? Okay, let's do that again really quick. Heart, body, mind, intuition, energy, and essence. So when we check in, doing a whole being scan, we're going to use one to three words. For today, because we're short on time, we'll just use one word for each zone. So I'll give you a, an example from my own experience. This present moment, so there's going. I won't add any story to it. I'm not going to tell you why I'm experiencing this, and I don't want you to do that, please, in the breakthrough rooms either. I'm just going to tell you what's happening in each zone with one word, okay? In my heart, I'm feeling joy. In my body, I'm feeling alive and energetic. In my mind, I'm feeling focused. My intuition is saying, I can trust these people. These are my friends. The energy space around me is vibing with connectivity with you all. And in my essence, I feel solidly connected. Now that's an example. And I want to, to really remind us all that when you do this whole being scan, and you can do this anywhere, any place, anytime, when you do it, you don't want to judge yourself. <laughs> it's like when you're in therapy, right? I'm a therapist in addition to, to a writer and, and a speaker, but we don't want to judge. Why do we not want to judge? Because that will shut our experience down. Sometimes the data that our whole being is giving us is going to help us. For example, if when I tapped into my energy space with all of you, I was not feeling connected, that might help me to know I need to do something differently or something needs to change. Or if my body was not feeling energized, I might want to do what I see some of, some of the folks doing here. I might want to stand and move. So tapping into our whole being gives us this whole wealth of information. 
And now I think you're going to see why we used all those leadership words. Because when we put all those leadership words together in that beautiful montage we just created, we know what we want. But when we do the whole being scan, we can tap into where am I a little off? Or where am I already there? Am I already listening? Am I engaged? Am I present? Am I caring? Am I kind? Am I feeling strong? All of those things. And so we just want to notice the data, pay attention to it, pay attention to any seemingly opposing things, because we can feel sad, curious, and hopeful all at the same time, right? <laughs> but then we move forward. And after this long whole being scan, pause 30 seconds to a minute, then we can make a better choice about what we'll do next. 